The ministry is also aggressively pursuing the development of a port at Kita. The construction of Ghana's new port at Kita is in the pipeline and 600 million is needed to complete the first phase. Before we proceed, please take a second to subscribe to this channel for more impressive videos. Ghana's Port and Harbour Authority has commissioned a German firm to undertake a full feasibility study and master plan including a development and investment strategy for the development of a new port at Keta in the Bota region. This new commercial port seeks to accelerate development, making it a game changer for the Volta and OT region and Ghana as a whole. This project was one of President Akufuado's campaign promises to increase economic activities in the area. In our manifesto, we did promise that if by God's will, the Leonardo Danko Akufuado will become the president of the country, we are going to construct two ports, one at Kita, another one at Jamestown. According to the transport minister, feasibility studies are completed and is posted. A physical office structure has also been erected, fully equipped and finished. Speaking on the project, official from Ghana Port and Harbour Authority also said all the preliminary and preparatory works is in process and will soon come to a conclusion and that building a port is not an event but a process. People have concerns that where is the land? They say they're going to build a port, it's only water. GPHA, we only own water. We don't own land. GPHS asset is water. The water belongs to us. It's when we get the water, that's how we get land. The report 65. We are still building. And in fact, a few years back, we commissioned the report terminal 3, which we call MPM. Now, the basic knowledge. Mr. Gazi can help me. The discussion to build Terminal 3 started somewhere 2012. An agreement was signed somewhere 2015. But the port, the terminal, was completed somewhere in 2020. So the signed agreement in 2015, the terminal was completed. Now bear with me. They just added a terminal to an existing port and it took them five years. But the process to add that terminal started 2015, somewhere 2012, all the way back to 2020. Does that make sense? The port already existed. There were terminals, people were working, the ships are coming, and they wanted to add another line. It took them that long. What we are doing here. There is no port. It's just water. The transport minister, Mr. Kutu Isema, called on the support of the private sector because it is a fact that projects of this nature is highly capital intensive and government may not be able to finance the entire project alone. We are gathered here today for this market sanding event because of our commitment and belief in the private sector to support government. And this is the way that we want to finance this project. We believe it will be the game changer as far as the economic situation of the Volta region and the Uti region are concerned. This port is expected to open up opportunities for investment and manufacturing industry for the Volta and Uti region and also going to open up investment into the exploration and exploitation of mineral resources that the Volta is endowed with. This is the end of this impressive video. What is your take on this project? Please send your comment below. Also help us by subscribing to this channel for more on such impressive videos. Thank you and watch out for our next video. Bye.